Hi, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. This is video number six in a series on building a mobile-friendly website with our software. And in this video, we're going to do something pretty fun. I'm going to talk about two things. That famous call button that allows you to tap on a button or a link and allow your user to make a phone call from their smartphone right from the website you're designing. And we're going to talk about putting a Google Map on the mobile website. Both of these things are very easy to do. Let's get started. Let's talk about that telephone button. I've got one right here. And if you double click on this, I have created a link. And here's how it works. When you want to create a, a link that uh, a mobile phone will recognize as a telephone link, the syntax for that looks like this. It's the letters T-E-L, as in telephone, a colon, and then the number you want dialed. So that's all it takes. The trick is when you create a link in 90 Second Website Builder that you want to have be a phone link. So for example, whether it's an image or it's a text link, and let's just do one here so you can see the process. If I say tap to call, or you can say click to call, whatever. I select this. When I go to make the link, I want to make sure that I choose website. Even though you're not technically going to a website, it's this feature that allows you to type in the code that you need. So you can just run right over that HTTP and use the protocol TEL colon and then of course the number. So that's how you do it. It's that simple. You can anything that can be a link on a mobile site can also be a phone link, whether it's an image or text. That's how you do it. Now I've got some already built in here, of course, because we're using templates. So any anytime you see one of these little icons with a phone, sometimes I have a bigger one, depends on the template. You can just double click on it and see what I've done. Go to link and just change the phone number on it and it should be just fine. Okay, so that's how you make phone link. Sorry it wasn't more complicated, but that's all there is to it. So let's look at the other thing. I wanna show you how to put a Google map on your mobile site. And this is really cool. I've already got the HTML code here because I've done it for the sake of demonstration, but I'll walk you through it. Now on the canvas, we can't see the map. We have to actually preview the site to see what the map looks like. Let me show you what it looks like. And the good thing about this is we don't have to publish. We can actually preview the page to see what the map would look like. I happen to put it in this location area of the uh, jQuery accordion and there you can see the map. Now what happens on someone's phone is they can actually take their finger, of course I'm doing this with a mouse, but if I was on a phone they can actually take their finger and move the uh, map around. Kind of a fun thing. It's an appropriate thing to put on a mobile site because often people are looking for an address uh, from their phone that way so it's a great thing to do. If they tap this button or click this link I mean it just takes them to the Google site where they would see the uh, the Google Maps you know, it takes them to a different website, basically. And that's just built into the code that Google provides us. So how do we put a map on our site? Well, uh, we're going to use a tool called the HTML tool, as you can see. And that's the tool that's over here. So I'll do it off to the side here for now, so you can see. We would simply go like this, double click, and then we're going to paste in some code right there. And of course, we get that code from Google. That's what I did here. Now, you'll notice. I put my map inside my little navigation jQuery accordion thing. You don't have to do that. If you want a bigger map, if you want more room for a bigger map, you could always make a page that's just for the map. You could have a link to the location page or the map page, and you could design it in such a way that there's more room. So here I have a little bigger version of it. Let me preview that so you can see. See the map's a little bit bigger here, just because it's outside of that jQuery navigation. So it's up to you. Um, if, if a map this size will work, then go ahead and do that. But let's, let me talk to you about how to get the code, and then you just simply paste it in. It's pretty simple. All you need to do, you go to maps.google.com. Okay, that's pretty simple. Then you type in the address that you want for the location. This happens to be the address of Blackwire Marketing. And click search, and of course the map will come up like you see here. Here's the trick you may not know. There's a little icon here you can click on. It's called Link. You see that little hyperlink icon. If you click on that, Google will let you get some code that allows you to paste this into a website. And what I recommend is we, rather than just take this URL, let's go get the code that we can paste into our website. So we're going to click right here so we can customize it. That way we can preview what the map's going to look like on our website. As you can see, there's a preset size. It comes out 425 by 350. Now, you probably know if you've watched my other videos, we can't have something 425 on our mobile site because we're sticking to 320 pixels wide. So we're going to pick a different size. If we go to small, it'll be just about right. 
Now our map will be 300 by 300. Now that'll fit just fine. But understand, you can actually adjust that later just by changing these numbers. But this is probably a great size to stick with on a mobile phone. So that's all you do. You just you click this and you go get the code. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. And I'll go back to my 90 second website builder. Here's my, here's my HTML tool. And I'm simply pasting the code in like this. It's all there is to it. There's the size. So if I was to use this, and again, this is off to the side. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, just so you can see how it works. I'm going to hit F5. You'll see that the map does show up. Isn't that great? Nice and simple. I've already done that over here, and I want to show you. I actually made it a little bit smaller because I wanted it to fit inside my jQuery accordion. So you can see I actually adjusted it down to 200 by 225, 200 wide, because that fits better inside here. But that's all you have to do is change these numbers to do that. And you can experiment with that if you want to. On the Maps page, if you want to use a Maps page like this instead, see, I can make it a little bit bigger. I made it actually 300 by 325. And, you know, or you could even make it square. That might even be a better idea. That was the small size they gave us before. And so um, it's done. If I F5 that, there it is. Fits just right. Here's the one thing you're going to need to know, and this is a Google thing. Um, when you drag in your HTML and you are moving it around like this, you drag in your code, don't think that because you have uh, stretched the box really big that that's how big the map is going to be. That can be a little bit confusing. If you go like this, you go, oh, I'm going to have a really big map. It doesn't really work that way. I'll show you. If I preview that, see I still have a map this size. That's because Google has to use this code to determine the size. So in a sense, the size of this does not matter. However, the placement of it does. It's called the anchor. Where this corner starts does matter. Let me show you what I mean. If I was to put the map starting here and try and make it a little map like this, watch what happens. See, it, the size is not affected, but the placement of the map is. It started in this corner. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you place it in the right location, but the size of it just doesn't matter what you do here because the size is going to be determined by the code. And that's it. So you might want to, you know, if you want to make it really snug, in other words, you can put it over there, preview that, and you'll see, see it's right up against the edge. You'll see it's still 300 by 300. That's all there is to it. So we made a map, we made a phone link, and you're set to go. That's how you do that in the 90 Second Website Builder.